Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me. Your illustrious host, the minister of soul, Khadija. You know, we talk about mental health and um, it seems like to me that the uh, predators as well as the prey are just beginning to be younger and younger and younger and younger. And this story right here disturbed me on a lot of levels because there's so much psychosis going on here that it's just not a matter of bad behavior. Okay? And I don't know um, if y'all feel the same way I feel, but I want to know what do you do when you just give birth to a bad seed? Um, and what happens to when somebody is bold enough to say that you just might have a, a rotten seed um of course um of course they're gonna they made an excuse for this particular um baby as they say she's 10 years old uh but here's the gist of the story uh a 10-year-old girl in Wisconsin has been accused of intentionally killing a six-month-old baby and has now made her first court appearance in adult court. Uh, according to this article, a girl who has not been identified due to her age is facing first-degree intentional homicide charges in the death of a six-month-old baby up there in Chippewa Falls. The girl appeared in shackles for her first bond hearing at the Chippewa County Court Room alongside her parents, and the hearing lasted only 10 minutes. The girl reportedly sobbed the entire time. The circuit judge, James Eikenson, ordered the girl to be placed in the juvenile detention center on a $50,000 cash bond. The incident occurred at a licensed daycare center in the rural town of Wheat. Police responded to a 911 call and found a six-month-old victim unresponsive and bleeding from her head. The infant died two days later at a Gillette Children's Hospital uh, in St. Paul. Star Tribune reported that the police at the scene questioned one adult and three children who were present to take care at the time and were soon able to determine that the 10-year-old girl was their prime suspect. According to Chippewa Falls County Sheriff, James Kolesiak, the girl told authorities that she was holding the baby and accidentally dropped him on his head. When the baby began crying, the girl panicked and stomped on the baby's head. Kolesiak confirmed that a local doctor determined that the head injuries that the baby suffered were not accidental. So she just basically stomped the baby's head in. It's a 10-year-old child. This reminds me of the bad seed. And if for those of y'all who have not seen the movie The Bad Seed, why don't you? Prosecutors thus told the court on November 5th that the baby's death was a result of the girl's panic when faced with a wailing infant. People reported that the Chippewa County District Attorney Wade Newell told the court that she panicked and didn't know what to do and didn't want to get into trouble. So then she just proceeded to stomp the six-month-old's head in. In Wisconsin, the state law requires that if any child 10 or older facing first-degree murder, attempted murder, or reckless homicide must make their first court appearance in an adult court. Must make it in an adult court. Juveniles under the age of 15 that are tried as an adult can be held in secure custody in a juvenile detention facility or the juvenile section of a county jail. In this case, the 10-year-old girl is currently residing in the former. Although the girl's first court appearance was in an adult court as mandated by state law, the Tribune reported that her case will likely be referred to the state juvenile court system. At the present time, the presiding judge has shown no signs of any intention to do so. 
Kowiak, who has been serving under law enforcement in Wisconsin for 40 years, told KSTP reporters that he could not remember a child as young as 10 um, being a defendant and being charged so aggressively. It's the first time for everything. Some of these comments um, I thought were irrelevant. Why was a 10-year-old being allowed to hold the baby? Was this home a daycare or public? Our daycare would never allow another child to hold or care for an infant. There needs to be some consequence for the idiot adult who should have been supervising a 10-year-old and the infant. Why was this child holding the baby? Why was she alone at all with the baby? I agree. Uh, investigate the mother of the 10 year old. Something's wrong when you're raising a violent sociopath. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was waiting for that response. When all the apples are bad and you sitting there and you got you want to make you an apple pie and all the apples that come off your damn tree on the ground are rotten. Are rotten. You don't just sit there keep picking up rotten apples and go, oh, what's wrong with the apples? Damn it. Check the tree. Check the tree for this rotten fruit. Because therein lies your answer. Wow. Listen. That's a hell of a situation. A 10-year-old girl, again, has been charged with stomping a baby's head in. And these are the kind of kids that used to be in our facility or kids in, um, that um, were in treatment centers and they wanted to mainstream them back into their uh, foster care or back into their uh, natural families with extensive therapy. And nobody want to just say, we got, we might just have some badass kids. That's some badass seeds. And that's what bothers me. Is nobody is on no reality. I'm not saying how they got there. I'm just saying some of them enjoy killing. And you better recognize and get your ass out to delusional, your head out your kulu. I want to know what y'all think. Do y'all think that children are capable of murder? Do you believe that children are capable of being evil? I want to hear from my well-read subscribers. I want to hear the differences of y'all opinions and y'all comments. Please leave your comment. It don't cost you nothing. Don't cost you nothing. Take a chance as you go. Don't cost you nothing. If you like it, come back for more. Don't cost you nothing. No, really. I really want to know what the hell y'all think. Do y'all think that all kids are good? And none can be questioned about their, their wiring and so forth and so on. I'd like to hear from you. And I'll see you in the next video. So if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, like, share the video, damn it. And let's go on to the next one. I'll see you.